the Pueblos uh, believe that our ancestral sites are sacred and that those who lived here and died here uh, still occupy these places and so we of course come uh, to honor them and to protect these places because we've never left in essence. We still have our connection here and although we are in another state, you know, there's no boundaries, no state boundaries, no time boundaries. We continue to honor those people who gave us the culture and the language that we have. Our ancestors used to roam this mountain and all the way up to Blue Mountain. And this was an area that was almost designated as our agency at one time. So we're here to support in a partnership with other tribes, the Hopi, the Zuni, the Navajo, Pueblos, that we can go ahead and work together to make this a better place for the future for our children. So I'm here in support of that as part of the coalition. One of the main reasons that it's very important to us, as I, I've mentioned throughout the many gatherings, is that um, we have, as the Ute Mountain Ute Tribe, have a long-lasting um, connection to the Bears Ears area. That's, that's a very spiritual site for us. Just listen to your own heartbeat and connect to the, the ground, to connect to, to, to what my dad always says, the Creator always has His ways, everything happens for a reason, to be still is probably one of our purest little customs that sometimes we overlook. And I think that if you can get in touch with yourself, you're gonna find the value in, in the movement. Our history comes all the way back into, into where we were created. As Zuni's uh, history, migration history is, we, we came out from the fourth world, and that's within Grand Canyon area. And the place is called Ribbon Falls. From there, we migrated in all different directions. Some went south, some went east. The ones that went north were the medicine men, and some of them went west. As the people that went up north, which were the medicine men, went through Bears Ears, and at the same time, also went through different other regions within that area. And it can be shown within that area by a lot of the artifacts that are there and also our ancestral sites. I hope that this coalition that we are forming will help not only our tribes, not only the tribes that they are here. I believe this is an unprecedented thing that we're doing it for the first time. And I hope that, you know, if Obama passed this particular proclamation, it will help not only the Zuni tribe, not only the Navajo tribe, the Hopi tribe, and the other tribes that are here presenting Bears Ears, it will help all the tribes of all nations within the United States.